The digit R of E is one more phi. But the important thing is that it's it, like it's shown here. It takes a link from the actual wireless out of channel and buses the signals in the serial link back to digital. Yeah? And we'll we'll here talk about mainly V4, uh, the version four, which is which is meant for the long tail. Yeah? Uh, within this whole context, where digit R of falls again is over here. It is another phi, but it's so close to the antenna that the EMI becomes very mission critical. It's not just enough to say, oh, it's low EMI. We've got to do specific mitigation techniques so it's really low and, and pass the regulatory requirements. So, uh, Ken has done a great job, so that saves me some time and I'm going to go through this. Uh, over here, uh, it's a little crowded, so let's just focus on the top part first. Uh, it's, it's a link for the long term in the sense that we're looking through the various generations. You don't want to make a new new silicon or new IP every time and next generation the 4G phones come or 5G comes. We believe this basic philosophy and the basic standards can be all the way through. So it's uh, LTE, the long term evolution standard, WiMAX, WLAN, all these we believe could, uh, that need a service. But the speed, the data is so much now that you do need a serial interface. And when you make a serial interface, you've got rates that are getting close to high frequencies that can interfere with the antenna. So that's the reason why we have a specific problem. So the solution, in a sense, is like uh, M5, but we do have a clock that's being shared between the baseband and RFIC. That's why it's different from uh, this one M5. Uh, and, and the enable signal. So the 3G spec also has some of these. This is a higher speed. And what it trying to do is adjust the specific needs of the rolling needs in the next generation of baseband RFIC interfaces. A lot of the specs come out of what's actually included with silicon. In that sense, it's a silicon smart spec. It's not a spec that you will believe, well, can this really be done in silicon with heavy margins? So you can be rest assured because this has, a lot of it has been just done in one way or other in silicon. In that sense, it's a little more silicon smart than uh, other standards or specs that may come out, in my opinion. Right? So it's optimized to minimize power as usual. That's power is a big thing. Uh, pin efficiency, serial lines, reliability, uh, AM, uh, to, to meet EMI characteristics for air interfaces. Uh, this is from a provider point of view, uh, for system architect. It's a very top-down view, this, this foil. Uh, it, it exploits synergies with M5, you know. Uh, all the control information, too, is carried on this. And if you can see the last line, it provides an evolution of a scale data rate. So when your data rate goes up, you could have multiple channels. If you don't need to burn so much power, data rates are lower, you could use a lower frequency uh, transfer, too. From a semiconductor or from a silicon SOC point of view, uh, it applies to the RFICs, the baseband ICs with the modems. Uh, other chip-to-chip -chip service needs so that more than gigabits per second and, and potentially can interfere with uh, uh, other signals from an RF point of view. Uh, various other baseband RF system topologies. No? Or in general, a lot of interest has been shown by anyone in general trying to do a serial link and low EMI is a must. So the charter is very similar to the overall charter of uh, within the uh, overall charter of MIPI. Uh, it's it's a R of the baseband standard both for hardware and software and the protocols. Uh, it creates and maintains a roadmap. So it's not just for today to solve a problem of this generation of phones, but evolving standards as we go ahead. Uh, it's a high programming model to optimize interoperability. That's a key word. It's, it's got to be interoperable. Somebody makes a transmitter, you make a receiver, or other way around. The standard ensures that we are interoperable. So I'll, I'll skip to the next one. All this is on our uh, website, so if you need more details, feel free to go and we'll have this presentation too. From an SOC point of view, or a bottom up, this file is more from a bottom up point of view, or a system architect who's trying to implement it on an SOC, what it covers. So you can see that the DGRF is here, phi, and these are the M5s, and the M5 adaptation layer, and the R DGRF has this protocol that goes straight into the DGRF protocol. Uh, in, in terms of a specific implementation, uh, yes, it provides a robust low pin count, but if you take a specific LTE at 20 megahertz, which is the highest rate in, uh, for LTE, the diversity is covered with just three differential pairs. So that's an actual data point which you can use to go implement with the next generation phones. Uh, and the, uh, there's a lot of people offer for silicon uh, on this. Uh, in fact, we were doing a poll on various companies to see how the power management uh, power consumption is there. So it's a very mature spec, and also it meets the regulatory requirements. A lot of effort is put to make uh, the EMI low, because the interface frequencies exceed many RF operating bands. And uh, there are specific techniques, like slow rate control on differential lines, 
to, to make sure that AMI is low. So one of the things I, you'll see in this group, it's very rare to have people with tremendous RF expertise, they call gigahertz, high frequencies. And the third is guy, designers who, are, who do time domain and high, high, high data rate links to be in the same room. So that's what's unique about this group to come out with such a you know, specs. So we believe it's a greener standard uh, because of lower power for the given bit rate. Like Ken mentioned, it's chip to chip. It's the distance is slow, so take advantage of that and keep, it, keep the power to the minimum. That means the minimum voltage levels needed, uh, burst mode operation. Just use the minimum that's needed to convey your data at a better rate. We shoot for a 10 power minus 10 in this standard. 